Today's topic is a big one and it can be intimidating. Learning how to stand out against veteran agents in your area. Let's face it, competition in real estate is fierce, but I want you to know that I am titling this stand out against the veteran agents, not compete. You're not competing. Your only competition is you. And today I'm sharing tips on how you can carve out your own space in the real estate industry. If you're new here, I'm Amanda. This channel is all about growing your real estate business without ever making a cold call or knocking on a random door. If that's something that interests you, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I release a new video every single week. All right, first things first, and that is building your personal brand online. Keyword to this is personal brand. So many new agents get caught up on their branding thinking that it matters what color their logo is or what fonts they're using. And what you really should be focused on is the personal part. You have to be authentic when you're showing up online. Show up as you are. Your journey is not like anyone else's and the whole purpose of a personal brand online is building trust and providing value. People work with agents that they know, like, and trust, and you can develop all of that by simply building a personal brand online. Now, I'm not saying that it's easy, it's not, it takes a lot of work, but this is a great way for you to build your own audience simply by showing up as yourself and sharing your journey in real estate, yes, even if you're brand new. Tip number two is be quick and responsive. And this is a way that a new agent can really stand out from a veteran agent because chances are you have far less clients than a veteran agent does. You want to make sure that you are responding as quickly as possible to your clients. Now, I'm not saying you don't have boundaries in place so that you aren't working all hours of the day or the night, but you do want to make sure that you are getting back to them as quickly as you possibly can or setting expectations for when you're going to get back to them. This builds trust with your clients. This is particularly important when you are in the phase of getting someone to know that you are the agent that they want to work with. If someone reaches out to you on social media, respond to them quickly. If someone sends you an email, respond to them quickly. You're building that rapport and you're letting them know that you're going to be there for them every step of the way. This is also a great practice to put into your business in general, whether you're new or have been doing this for some time, because real estate is stressful. It's stressful on us as agents, so can you imagine how your clients are feeling with all of this unknown? And the quicker you are to respond and calm those nerves of whatever their question or concern is, the smoother the process is going to go for both of you. Clients don't like to live in the unknown. It creates stress and uncertainty. So make sure that you're there to be that shock absorber for them and get back to them promptly when they have questions and concerns. Tip number three is hyper local expertise. And this is just as important as the service you deliver because your service could be absolutely phenomenal, but if you aren't educated to be able to answer your client's questions and really know the area that they're interested in on a deep level, it's going to be rough to continue to get business. You have to be able to answer their questions about the market. That means you've got to get to work and do your homework. Study the market, study the neighborhood or the niche you want to serve. Know not just the real estate facts, but you also wanna make sure that you are immersed in the community. Relationships and real estate go hand in hand. You can build such a powerful real estate business simply by focusing on relationships. So that means getting yourself out there within the community and not only knowing the real estate market, but also knowing new developments, know the schools, know the different parks, know the different stores, the restaurants. You want to know it on such a deep level and share that knowledge with your clients because not only is that going to build trust with them, it's also going to show them that you deliver great service and you're a market expert. Tip number four is nurture your network. And this is something that successful veteran agents do at a, an extremely high level. Your network is so powerful and I don't care if you just took the test and don't even have your license yet, you can start this immediately. Every single one of us has a network and your job as a new agent needs to not only be to nurture that network, but to also grow it. You have to focus on growing your database. And there's a lot of different ways that you can do that that I won't get into in this video. Just make sure that you have a system in place to have not only conversations, but conversations that lead to you getting contact information so that you can then stay in touch with those people. It's not about being pushy or salesy. It's about coming from a place of value and wanting to serve the people that are in your network. 
Tip number five is define your ideal client. And this is such an important step for new real estate agents because what it's going to help you do is tailor your messaging, zone in on your marketing, and not take this really broad approach. So what I recommend doing is thinking about first, what your strengths and weaknesses are, second, what type of client you want to work with, and third, what type of properties do you like to show and sell? All of that is important because you want to like what you're doing. If you don't like working with relocation clients because you've got to drive them all over the different areas and really explain in detail what it's like living in one area compared to another, that's no problem. Think about who it is that you do want to serve. And then from there, what you're going to be able to do is learn about that client's demographic, where most of them live, their income level, where do they work, what do they like to do for hobbies. You can really take that client profile and drill down on your marketing. You can test and refine your marketing over time so that you make sure that you are solving their pain points and being of service to them. There's no way that you're going to be able to serve every single type of client and you shouldn't have to. That's not saying that you can't work with people who aren't your ideal client. It's simply saying that you want to have your messaging tailored to a specific client that you are interested in working with. You want to be the specialist. It could be upsizing, it could be military, it could be relocation, downsizing. There's a lot of options out there. Really invest some time though into determining who your ideal client is and then make sure that you are creating all of your messaging for that client. To wrap things up, don't be intimidated by veteran agents in your market. There was a time where they were new too and we all start somewhere. What's most important is staying confident and showing up just as you are. You can carve out your space in the real estate market. It takes commitment, it's going to take some time, and it's also going to take a lot of effort on your part. Study your market, know it inside and out, and then share your knowledge to build your personal brand online. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, or you can always message me on Instagram. You'll find me at Amanda S. Davidson. Until I see you on the next one, thanks for watching.